Hey everyone, welcome back to another writing video. My name is Alyssa and this is my channel, Say My Say Writes Books. It is the last day of March, which means tomorrow is the first day of Camp NaNoWriMo in April. And I have my Camp NaNoWriMo site up um, with my projects list. Project, yeah, project list up there. And I am so excited. Uh, it still says it's in the prepping stage, and there's no words yet, so I still can write, like what it says on the screen, 1,667 words. I really wonder how they, fi how they figured out, like, the whole, like, how many words you have to write to hit 50,000. Um, I don't even know if this will hit 50,000, just because I don't, I don't even know how long Kyle's Purgatory is now that I have the end, but I am, I've already started rewriting it. So in this video, I just want to give you a brief overview of what my next four months of writing will be, and that way you'll know if I'm showing myself writing in a vlo writing vlog and I don't really say anything and it's just kind of like a montage -y type video, then you'll know what I'm working on. A general idea of what I'm working on. So I'm in PJs right now. I'm going to be taking a nice, nice warm bath, kind of getting myself all ready for midnight because I think I'm going to stay up until midnight so that I can get a start on it and that's just because I'm very excited and so the first thing is I did start rewriting the first part of my novel into the same document that I wrote the end of the novel so that I have the entire thing there and that's one thing that I have planned. If I can't, I feel like that will take up part of April, but then again, I'm also going to be working on the Shaq story, which is the spinoff. So I may save the rewrite for May, and I'll just work on it in May. And I'm hoping that I can write the entirety of the spinoff since I have been taking notes and have been doing a little bit of outlining here and there, uh, I think I did a video with the boards that I have. Those boards. The first one with the big white paper, that one's for the shack. And I have most of my notes in my notebook, which is actually right back there. Yeah, it's that brown little line right there. So... I feel really good about the story. I feel like as I wrote them into the end of Kyle's Purgatory, I was able to come up with a little bit more of the Shaq story and like each of the characters I was kind of getting a better feel for. So I'm just really excited. I've been looking forward for my summer of writing so much. Uh, and since it's harder for me now to get a job since we're all having to stay inside and places are shutting down, then I feel like I'm going to be able to get a lot more done if I really stay focused, especially with my novel, because I do want that to come out this year. So hopefully I can get that all done. And... So, with that said, first off, this month, this coming month, I'm going to be working on The Shack for Camp NaNoWriMo. In, a in May, I will be continuing to work on the rewrite for Kyle's Purgatory. In June, I might start some edits for Kyle's Purgatory or have some people help me to edit. I don't have the funds at all to... Like, I may also look for or try and find a, an agent because I feel like by then, if I don't find an agent 
or I can't even like find ones who are looking for something like my book, which I have tried, but I haven't been able to find agents that are looking for something like my book because all their paranormal stuff is paranormal romance and I don't really have that in my story. So that's why I'm kind of just gravitated towards self-publishing. Plus I have my two poetry books that I've already self-published before and so I have that start. And that's just how it may go if I can't find any agents that I can even submit to. Um, I do want to try though. And I do want to try and give it the chance that it deserves, even though I'm really terrified to go the self the traditional publishing route with this book. It's something that I do want to try this year. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do is getting this book ready for querying and working on a query letter somehow because uh, I, I don't really know how to write a query, query, query letter or a cover letter. And then I have Sadiq's story, which I do want to implement more within the first draft because um, I found him more through the end of the book. Sadiq is the nine-year-old brother, and so I have that going for me. I do have a secret project that I'm calling Project Lilac because it rhymes with the main character's name, sort of, and that's about it. So I have the shack, I have the rewrites, the edits, and Sadiq's story, which will be in Camp NaNoWriMo July, and then I have my... Project Lilac. I don't know how many that was. But that is my, like, how I'm picturing my summer. Things can change. I mean, I also have a story that my dad found that I've started going through, and I talked about it a little bit in my last writing video, but just wanted to share all of the projects that I have planned for the summer. Which I just want it to be summer. <laughs> Mainly because of the book that I'm reading, Call Me By Your Name, because it's set in summer. And today was a really nice summer type day. And when I waited for my boyfriend to pick me up after work, he, like, I read a little bit of the book on my Kindle, and it just felt so nice sitting in the shade, or standing in the shade, waiting for him outside summer. So that is it. That is like my, my Camp NaNoWriMo excitement as well as my upcoming writing projects. I don't know what to title this video. I'll figure out in a few minutes and I'm gonna go so that I can like I don't know, get myself more psyched up. And I think I already saw, like, Natalie Lee having, or putting up a reminder for a live stream. So, that's fun. I think we're, like, the fifth or the fourth. I need to put it on my, on my wall calendar, which I love so much. I got that at Walmart, and so walking dead wall calendar. Well, no, I had my boyfriend get me that at Walmart because... I think it was after I was let go because I couldn't get it at the time when I was still working there. So, that is everything. I probably said so in the end so many times. I'm, um, I apologize. I'm excited. I'm wearing comfy clothes. I'm going to be wearing comfy clothes as I write. Are you guys looking forward to Camp NaNoWriMo? I hope you're able to put comments down below because I don't know how to fix that. Otherwise, you can just go to past videos where you can comment. I apologize. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Camp, Nar 
Camp NaNoWriMo related videos. Yeah, I'm really glad I made this video because it's, it's like a talk through of what I want to accomplish over the summer or try to accomplish over the summer. And I just can't wait to write the Shaq story. I'm really, really praying that I can find another name. Probably said that a lot of times too, but you know what? <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys are as excited as I am and are planning your summer writing routine. Let me know in the comments down below what you're planning to do for April. And I will see you in the next video, which will probably be tomorrow. Bye.